Hello everybody. Today I am once again sharing with you the Sew for the Soul book that I've been working on. Um, this is pages 9 and 10. And for anybody who doesn't know what this is, this is a project that is hosted by a lady by the name of Anne Brooke. And I'll put a link to her YouTube channel to the very first Sew for the Soul book. Um, video that she put up so that you can see what it's all about if you're interested in playing in you know joining in and making one for yourself and that will give you all the instructions every week she puts up an, another couple of pages for you to complete with some instructions that you can um, follow or use as guidelines for the page that you want to make so like I said this is pages 9 and 10 and these particular pages are called breather pages because every two pages we've done so far, there's been a lot of stitching involved in them and they've been rather fussy. And so I think these, I accidentally skipped a page there. Um, last week was weaving. And so this time around, it's called a breather page. Just let me, I'll put it like that. And we were only using two pieces of fabric on this one. And I have this lovely blue fabric. Now, um, that goes across the whole two pages. And then we were using a contrasting fabric. And this is in my chosen color that I chose to use on every page in the book and that was pink now I it's a very fine fabric this one as you can see you can probably see my fingers through it so I chose to double it up it's actually fabric from a baby dress and we were just to do some embroidery work or stitch work on this particular piece of fabric we could take it across to blend it with our background fabric a little bit and so that's what we've done. We were also to make this lovely little hole here. And that goes through the page. So next week, when we do the next page, we would be doing another hole on that side. Um, and it's like a peepee -pee hole. Um, so that was something new. That was actually using florist wire and just embroidering around the edge. And she does give instructions for all that sort of thing on her videos. Uh, what else were we to do? Um, okay, we could do waves, zigzags, or anything like that. I chose to do some loops, a couple of loops for mine. And I've also got a, a wavy line across there as well. And what that did was divide it into sections. And then I have, um, I'll bring it up close. I'm not sure what this one's called, but I did that stitch. She showed that on the video. I have some seed stitching and some uh, French knots, just straight stitching. Uh, I have this little daisy. I've never done that before. So that was, that was interesting to do, some cross stitching. And I have more um, French knots and seed stitching there. I have more of this one, another flower, doesn't look quite perfect, but you know, um, cross stitching. I did add two little doily pieces because I've used those on, you know, some sort of doily on every two page spread. And then this is my circle that I did. And then I have lots of looser French knots. I haven't done them loose before and I still don't think they're loose enough. But I do like the way that looks. It's like a little flower garden around it, isn't it? Um, and so, and we tacked the fabric to the page all around the edge, down the centre here. And you might just see a little stitch going up there to join that. And this fabric is loose and it's just the stitching that tends to keep it in place. So that is my pages 9 and 10 for the Sew for the Soul book this week. Um, I did enjoy doing this uh, particular way. I'm having a hard time getting motivated these days. I really am. And I, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but 
usually I know exactly what I want to make every week but just the last couple of weeks I've been in a bit of a slump. I have started oh I did add a couple more pages to this as well because they're going to be needed um, so it's it's turning out quite quite a large fabric book at the moment but it does feel nice oh and we were to leave an extra piece on the edge hanging over I don't know if we're going to be folding that over or not but just in case so that was that that double page spread and so I did um, start something but I kind of started it and just stopped it and it was a project I saw on Facebook a couple of weeks ago I don't go on Facebook very often at all but I did this came up on the on the page when I went on and I'm thinking and I'm not a hundred percent sure it's from a, a, a group called rag ragbag girls I think it is it was a a UK swap they were doing but I absolutely loved it and it was a picture on Pinterest I will put that link in the description box to the Pinterest photo that they were referring to. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. And and it was all these little houses. And they were absolutely adorable. And it was a, a hanging from a coat hanger. So I started doing it. And then I decided, well, I've got nowhere to hang a hanging so then I stopped and I haven't gone back to it since then. Oh, isn't that pretty? Um, I haven't gone back to it since then. Now that needs some fabric on there by the look of it too. But they're really cute. And they do have wadding behind them. I used some scrap wadding up to, you know, put them all together and that. But... Um, I kind of got stuck then and I never got back to them and I'm thinking maybe what if I instead of making a hanging out of them I use them for tags in a journal so instead of perhaps using wadding behind them I could just put some like file folder or something like that behind them and make some little tags um, and make a another journal out of them and I know I said I was wanting to make something other than a journal but I just can't get motivated to make anything other than a journal at the moment but then I went to the op shop last week and one of the things I didn't get much I only found a couple of things where is it I went to two shops I don't go out much at the moment to, you know, shopping. And I found a pillowcase, and look at this. This is the pillowcase. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. So I'm going to make a journal, and I think I'll use this on the cover as part of the cover. Um, and it's almost like beach cottages, isn't it? So I think that will be my next project. And I may film it as I go along because I, I just I need to motivate myself. And I know a lot of people do the craft with me type videos. And I may just do something like that just to motivate myself a little bit more. But I was so happy to find this. And it was only a couple of dollars. What else did I find? Oh, I found these too. Look, I found these... Um, these holders they were a dollar each and then there was these little um little bits of felt I think for the the bottom of them these have got somebody's name on them so I need to be careful not to show that side so I got those uh what else did I find just oh I found some little rivets and then some small eyelets they were a dollar and they were dollar fifty and they gave me I, I was going to buy these little images but they just said I'll just take those somebody's obviously going was going to make or they were off a calendar or something these lovely floral images so I got those and they're really pretty 
And this, you know, they're not too bright, so they're nice. Did I buy anything else from that one? No, that was all I got from that shop. And then from another shop, another shop, I found that. So that's great. That was two dollars. And that will go with the other ones. Uh, I found this. And the reason I, I picked it up was because I remember, I think, Jeannie Dreamer was showing um, something made from bark or something like that. And this is actually made from leaves. You see all those leaves? So I picked it up. And inside, it's just it's all these pages, handmade paper. And I thought, ooh, isn't that nice? I can use that in in journaling. So I got I got that. I don't, uh, there's no price tag on it, but it was probably a dollar or two at the most. I got a whole bag um two dollars, and it's mohair and silk for craft, and it's all these bags. Uh, probably for doll's hair or something, but I'm sure I can use them in crafting. Like there's English mohair and there's some English mohair. See how it's all braided there? And there's some silk in there as well. I think that's, no, that one's viscose silk here. So that will be interesting because I have seen on Pinterest, you know, people incorporating this sort of thing in their crafting, in their stitching and things like that. So I got that. Didn't really get a lot. I got some pipe cleaners because I thought for Christmas time they might be handy, some of them. Um, oh, I got, I got some papers. I think that's probably it then. I got, look at these, aren't they pretty? Uh, they're print, uh, what are they? They're greeting cards actually. The Holy Trinity Church, the Gatehouse Collection. But what a beautiful image. So it's a card with an envelope. But how lovely is that picture? And then there's this one as well. And they're only a dollar each love this so I got those and then just you know exercise books for 50 cents or something I like this one this was only 20 cents but it's the perfect color because I don't have to do anything with it um, so they're always handy to find and this one as well uh, what is this 20 cents as well so the older the art they are the cheaper they cost but you don't have to do anything to them whereas this one was 50 cents and I will have to you know tea stain that one so that was handy so more papers a little bit different and I think, I think that is it not a lot at all but I was thrilled to find this it's got all that lace on the front that I can leave on but the back of it is plain it just seems to go with this so well um, so I will start working on a journal I think and I'll bring you along for the if you want to watch and we'll, I'll make it on video it might take a while they do don't they and we'll see how we go I might start off with the tags okay I hope you're all keeping well and I hope you have more inspiration and motivation than I've had the last couple of weeks take care everybody Bye.